Hi, I'm Tom and Homi from Dell EMC. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to configure Vival based virtual machines backup with Dell EMC Power Store and Power Protect. Dell EMC Power Protect appliances provide next generation data management and data protection with scale up and scale out flexibility. The integration between Power Store and Power Protect enables backup and recovery of Vival-based VMware virtual machines with operational simplicity, agility, and flexibility. As you can see, I connected my Power Protect appliance to Data Domain Virtual Edition as a backup storage. Thanks to the DDBoost mechanism, Data Domain provides extremely high DVPN compression ratios. In addition, I added my VMware vCenter server as an asset source in order to backup and restore virtual machines. Now, let's take a look at my protection policy. For the purpose of this demo, I created a protection policy called Vival Daily and set its type to virtual machine. Then, selected my virtual machine that I want to backup. In addition, I created a Power Protect proxy. This VM has access to the data stores of the protected virtual machines and provides hot add backup by associating the backed up virtual machines virtual disks and copying data at the storage level. Now we're ready to go. Let's take a look at the vSphere environment. As you can see, I have a Windows virtual machine which is running on my Power Store Vival data store. This VM has one operating system Vival disk and two data Vival disks. By navigating to the Power Store UI, we can see the different Vival associated with this VM. Three data Vivals, one config Vival, and one swap Vival. Now, Let's run the backup job for this virtual machine and see what happens. The Power Protect plugin allows us to run backup and restores directly from the vSphere client. I'm right clicking on my virtual machine, navigating to the Power Protect pane, and selecting backup. Within a few seconds, a new Power Protect backup job will start. The first step of the backup is creating a snapshot of the backed up virtual machine. With Vivals, when a new snapshot is created, VMware doesn't create the performance impacting Delta VMDK files that were traditionally used, but instead, VMware entirely offloads this process to the array. So the array creates the snapshots and VMware just tracks them. These snapshots called managed snapshots. This is what is created when you initiate a snapshot of a VM that is using Vival via a VMware interface, such as PAR Protect, PAR CLI, VRO, etc. This process creates array-based snapshot that VMware knows about. By navigating to the PAR Store UI and clicking on the Vivals tab, we can see three snapshots at the storage level. So when a VMware managed snapshot is taken, VMware actually tells the array to create snapshots for each data Vival. So there is a point in time for every virtual disk. As you can see, the config Vival is not snapshot. There is no real need for that as the configuration information for the snapshot is actually stored in the config Vival itself. Under the name of the VM, we can see that these snapshots are now connected to the proxy VM, which is using hot add backup mode to backup the data. This unique integration between Dell EMC Power Store and Power Protect provides fast and efficient backup solution. A major benefit for Vivals with Power Store is that snapshots are now Power Store virtual volume copies which are globally data reduced, metadata based, so their creation, restore, and deletion is instantaneous, and they're not 
copy and write, so there is no performance impact during creation, restore, and deletion. Once the backup is completed, we can also restore the VM directly from the vSphere web client using the PowerProtect plugin. We can right-click on the VM and then navigate to the PowerProtect option and click Restore. Here, we can choose the copy from our data domain system. I'm selecting the latest copy and clicking Next. Here, I'm choosing to restore the entire VM. Next, I'm selecting the Instance Access VM option. And here, I'm selecting the vSphere resources. Then, all I need to do is provide a name for the new restored virtual machine and click Restore. The operation is starting and within a few seconds, I have an up and running virtual machine ready to start. I hope you will find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.